Hi, it's November 23rd. I got this word this morning. Kind of interesting. Um, the Lord gave me Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. And I started looking at it and seeing some similar things. So read Isaiah. Um, okay, I'll start. Very long. The Lord of hosts wants his sheep to rely totally on him now. Cast away your cares of this world. Focus your eyes on Yeshua HaMashiach. He knows all things, he feels all things, and he understands exactly where you are in your walk with him, in your life with him. Let him carry your heavy load. Let him shoulder your burden. He will lift you out of trouble and is very pleased to bless you with all heavenly blessings. He is your strength and provision. He is your bravery and fear. His love fills the hearts of the lonely. He brings peace in times of chaos, hope in times of despair, joy in times of sadness, wisdom to the foolish. He plants seeds in fertile soil. His vineyard is full of the finest grapes. He is the mighty shepherd to his flock. He is the lamb who was led to slaughter, perfect sacrifice for sin. He is the almighty creator of everything. In his hands the fate of, lies the fate of this earth. He is in complete control. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows your every thought. He knows when you are hurting. He hurts along with you. His magnificence is beyond all human understanding. Let him care for you and nurture you until he comes to rescue you. Let his face shine on you. Let him direct your every step. Let him light your darkest hours. He will cleanse your heart and mind if you simply invite him to do so. He will refine you and perfect you. He is the author of our faith. His arms are wrapped around you. You are underneath his wing. He will provide for you as a loving father provides for his lost, long lost son. His depth of love for you has no end. Let him be your direction when you have no other. He will take you out of this world. His heart is for you, not against you. He cares about the smallest details of your life. Let him. He wants good things for you. You are his child. Let him help you. Just ask. Time he does not recognize, but he sees when we are patient. His word is how you spend time with him. Open up his word. He will never disappoint or let you down. Let his eyes be your eyes. Let his heart be your heart. Let the Ruach HaKadosh be your guide. He will never ever leave or forsake you. You are never alone. When the enemy attacks, use him as your shield. When in doubt, look up. Allow him to be your guide in all that you do. To hold your every thought captive and enlighten your mind. Feel his love surround you. The Ruach HaKadosh is a perfect gentleman. He needs to be invited to be your constant guide. Do not get sucked into this broken world. You are not of this world. This is a temporary place for you on your journey home. You walk on a lighted path. Stay in the light. Don't step foot into the darkness. Satan and his minions wait for one misstep, one opening to bring destruction into your life. Let the Ruach HaKadosh direct your every choice. If you should step off into darkness, return quickly to the light. Do not let guilt and shame keep you from the sun. He is forgiveness. Guilt and shame are not of the Lord. Grow in wisdom and understanding. And feed the lost and hungry. Share all that you have because he has so much more to give you. Share your treasures. Share your time. Share your love. Let the Ruach HaKadosh cover all of your frustrations. Let him make the path ahead straight. Let him make your journey home a joyful one. Call on him. Don't do another thing without him by your side.